Hey y'all, we're talking about Drag Race. Season 15 cast was just revealed. Oh my god, I've been waiting for the longest for a new driver season. So I'm going to speed run through my my impressions, my first impressions, and my thoughts on these queens. Disclaimer, I do not know these people. I could absolutely love them once the season starts, and I could absolutely hate them once the season starts. I'm just giving my first opinions on these queens their looks how they present themselves i'm just sharing my opinion i could say something a little crazy about your favorite queen i don't know these people so just a disclaimer i'm just going to be sharing my honest opinion so let's start with amethyst now amethyst i liked her look she's very adorable i feel like she's going to be one of those queens that like thinks she's funny but like she's not really funny because when she was in the interview saying that she's like a comedy queen or whatever i'm like the jokes <laughs> like trinity girl where's the jokes you know but she's adorable i feel like she might not win but she's gonna be like she's gonna go a, you know a little while you know but i might end up loving her during the season because she's so adorable anitra there's so many queens this season oh my god 16 anitra i didn't think i would like her when she was doing her little runway walk um but her interview was very nice she was she was very nice she had a deeper voice than i thought great look she looks very put together she looks like she knows what she's doing i just have a reference on my ipad right here just to look at the queens um she looks very beautiful great face everybody's makeup is oh everybody's makeup is so good this season um again i think she might go towards like the middle she might make it all the way to be honest she looks very talented aura maori can i say this i'm gonna be honest with y'all i can't stand when queens all they talk about in their interview oh i'm the baddest i'm the baddest girl here i'm the prettiest one i got more talent than everybody in here like i'm that i'm that girl their entire interview i don't care like where's the i'm here to have fun i'm here to present myself in my art form you know if i make it i make it but i'm really you know supporting myself believing myself where are the humble girls at and aura was a girl that i thought was gonna be like that but she wasn't like the whole time in her interview she was just like oh i'm the prettiest one my face is always beat you know i'm like girl i don't care about that she's beautiful she kind of reminds me of olivia lux and like Alyssa hunter mixed together i was rooting for her but i don't know her attitude was just kind of i don't know for me um irene dubois <clears throat> kind of reminded me of ellie diamond everybody reminds me of somebody y'all she was very beautiful i loved her look in the interview don't think she's gonna go that far um <laughs> but she's very unique you know something that we probably never see we never see that often on drag race very beautiful girl i really i i'm i'm i'm, I'm excited to see what she brings Jax. I didn't think I would like her from that um that walk she did, but I actually really like her. Like when these queens start talking, I like these girls. I like Jack. She looks very nice, very sweet, very talented. I think she might go all the way. So I'm rooting for Jax. Lucy LaDuca, I, I love her voice. She just has very a very soothing, like feminine, cute voice. Um, love the look. Um, she she could go far. She kinda reminds me of like a um like a not housewife, but like like that kind of drag style like you know what i'm saying i i i'm interested in her lux noir london she kind of reminds me of um simone um but in like i don't know i don't know about lux just yet i could like her throughout the season and i could not like her but i think she's gonna go all the way she seems like one of those girls that has the talent and has the determination to make it all the way so we're, we're gonna see about lux noir malaysia baby doll fox she really reminds me of um What's her name? Cornbread, but like more of an old school version of cornbread. She looks very old school. Her makeup was old school. Her look was old school. She talks old school. Um, I really, really, I'm really excited to see what she's gonna bring. Marsha, 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 girl, the second three Marshas walked up, I said, Oh my god, this girl is unique. She's a Blair. Like she reminds me of Blair, and she's so adorable and so cute. So I'm like, I'm excited because we don't see that kind of drag that much on drag race at least me i'm excited for marsha 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 i'm excited for her i'm ready to see what she can bring i'm ready mistress isabel brooks y'all when she first walked in of course i was like eureka but when she started talking i was like i am in love with this queen like i am 
rooting for Mar not not Marsha. I'm rooting for Mistress Isabel Brooks. She she just has such such charisma and so much like you know like spunk and like she's so likable to me she just i love mistress like i oh my god i'm so excited to see her i'm so 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 excited princess poppy thought she would be okay but then she started talking and i'm like she's kind of annoying um she's kind of one of those first out girls to me like again opinion 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 she just seemed like a first out girl i don't know i don't know robin fierce gives me she gives me like old school like early 2000s model and let me say something y'all she looks like a winner she looks like she could win this entire thing and i say that because she has like a maturity and a, a sense of like likability in a inspirational very just a very like just i don't know y'all she seems like royalty like somebody that you would want to win somebody that you can look up to and be like oh my god i want to be like her but in a very genuine sweet compassionate kind of way that's what she gives me when she started talking i'm rooting for robin i feel like i'm gonna like robin selena estides i would rather just skip her altogether because she was very annoying when she was talking why was she so loud why was she like uh-huh girl like yeah 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 and what is that so we're just gonna you know before i say something crazy i'm gonna just move on to sasha kobe now i didn't know who sasha kobe was until carrie kobe came up on the scene season 14 but i i barely know sasha kobe i've never seen anything of her works but i know that girl's probably gonna win i like her she has such charisma and such like just just like i don't know like she's a legend even though i don't know who she is i just know she's a legend and i know she's probably gonna end up in the top four or she's gonna win period next we have sugar and spice now i've been following them on tiktok for a while i'm very excited to see how they're gonna do especially sugar i'm, I'm rooting for sugar a little bit more than spice but because sugar i really like sugar's interview and she said something like why does life have to be hard why do you make life so hard why can't life just be easy and i don't know why that stuck with me that was so i don't know why that stuck with me that was crazy but i'm really rooting for the twins i'm ready to i'm very interested to see how they're gonna do like i don't know but if i had to choose a top four just just from the interviews and like the first looks if i had to choose my ideal top four i would say i would say uh i would say mistress robin sasha colby and maybe sugar that's my that's my personal top four but if i had to get like a realistic like who i think from like rupaul's perspective who's gonna be in the top four probably like maybe lux noir maybe malaysia maybe robin and then sasha colby but i hope it's not like a sasha colby like oh it's like made for her like i hope it's not like that i hope it's like fair you know because she's a legend you know but i'm very excited to see how these girls are gonna do i'm excited january 6th y'all that's when drag race season 15 is premiering i'm very excited <laughs> so yeah thank you guys for watching it was just a little short run through but yes comment your opinions down below don't come for me y'all don't come for me because again i could end up liking a lot of these people after the, the show airs so sorry if i said something mean about your, your favorite queen comment down below your opinions love you thank you for watching